Hey guys, welcome to math again. You guys did really good on that live lesson. Yes, you are showing me you know all about these ones and tens and hundreds and you can build a number with blocks and show me what it's supposed to look like. Very, very good. All right, so we are gonna move on to today's lesson. All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna go just a little bit farther with these numbers. Um, for example, you know how to write a number with just numbers, like this number right here, 82. You can do that. You know how to build that number with blocks. You know that 82 has eight tens, so you know to draw eight tens. And you know it has two ones, so we need to draw two ones. The ones are just those little circles. You all are doing that wonderfully. And these have names. So I'm going to click up here and I'm actually going to type it so we don't lose it. Ooh, not that big. Let's go a little smaller. That's good, probably. The name for when you just write a number with just numbers is called standard. Standard form. The name for when you write it with blocks, we call that a quick picture or a quick pick. Or sometimes we even call it a model. So we have standard form is when we just write a number, when we just use the numbers to do it. And then a quick pick or a model is when we use the blocks and we draw a picture there's another way, and it's called written or word form. And when we do written or word form, that's when we actually have to write it with words. We have to spell it out. So, like we know this is the number 82. Whoops, I didn't mean to erase. This is the number 82. 82 and these blocks show 82 because 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 82 and 82. We have to write 82. So we have to spell it. Now, and I know this is going to be a little hard today because we're going to actually have to do some spelling in our math class. I know that's not fair. I'm going to make you spell in math class. I'm sorry, but we have to today. We have to know how to write these numbers in words or written form. So if we're going to spell 80, the first thing I need to know how to spell is eight, like eight E, and I'll put an E on it. So how do I spell eight? That is a hard one, but that is a word that we've talked about since kindergarten and in first grade. Eight is spelled E-I-G-H-T, eight. And to make it say A-T, I'm just gonna put a Y on it, A-T. And then 82, I bet you know how to spell two. Yes, T-W-O, so 82. And we sometimes we put a little, that's called a hyphen or a dash in between the, the tens and the ones. So 82, we'll put a hyphen there. We don't put it in anything else, just between the tens and the ones, but those are three ways I can do a number. So I'm gonna kinda draw, actually, I can make lines better like this, so I'm gonna, draw a line like that and then I'm gonna draw a line like this there we go Make that one go down just a little bit perfect all right because I'm gonna leave that part on the board because that's what we're gonna work on today we already know how to make them in standard form this is standard form we already know how to do that we've worked on that we already know how to do a quick picture because we've already worked on that. What we're working on today is we're gonna be making sure we can do it in written or word form. So that's our skill today. We're just trying to see if we can write them in words. It's not gonna be too bad, is it? No, the worst part's gonna be the spelling part, but we're gonna be fine on that. So I'm gonna erase this part and I'm gonna get a different number for us to practice with. So if you have something that you can write on and do this with us, that would be wonderful. Get you a piece of paper, get your whiteboard, whatever you need. 
it would be a good idea for you to get it and work this with us. That way when you have to do the practice on your own in a little while, you'll know what to do. Okay? Alright, so for this first one, I am going to draw a quick picture or a model of a number and then we're going to see if we can do the standard form and the written form. So here is my quick picture or a model of the number. Okay, so you have to figure out what number I drew in my quick picture or my model. What number did I draw? Exactly, because 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And the number 47, it looks like this, because the 4 goes in the 10's place and the 7 goes in the 1's place. Because we have seven ones, so we put it in the ones. And we have four tens, so we put it in the tens. 47 looks like that. Good. So we've got the standard form. Check, there's our standard form. We've got the quick picture. Now we need the written form. So we have to actually write 47, and we have to spell it with letters. So, okay, I know we all know what it starts with. F. Good. What makes the or sound for or? It's like the word or. Yeah, O-R. For or t e forty, forty. Oh, I bet it's a T. And then what would make the E sound at the end of the word? For T. You're right, it's a Y. Usually if you hear E at the end of a word, it's going to be a Y usually. So 40. Now I need to spell seven. And seven, I hope, should be an easy word for you, too, because, again, those were words you worked on in kindergarten and first grade. So 40 sev n And even if you didn't know it, I bet you could have sounded it out. 47. And we can put that hyphen between the 40 and the 7 because we have to put it between the 10s and the 1s. So good. We've got standard form where we just write it with a number. A quick picture is when we draw it with blocks, and then written form or word form is when we write it with words. We use letters and words to write it. Good. All right, let's try another one. This time, I'm going to write it in standard form again. So I'm just going to pick a number and write it in standard form. Hmm. How about this number right here? What is that number, guys? Okay, okay, let's see if you're right. If I build it with blocks, I can count them, and then I'll know if you're right. So, okay, I need zero ones. I'm not going to draw any ones. I need seven tens. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And then these are the hundreds, remember. I need two of those. And to do a hundred, it's just a square, remember, a big old square. Okay, so you told me this number was 270. I'm going to count it and make sure you're right. 100, 200. Oh, so there's 200. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 270. You're right. The number is 270. Awesome. So, again, we have standard form written, 270. We've got a quick picture that shows 270 or a model that shows 270. What do we have to do now? Yes, we have to write it in words or in written form. So I want you to try it on that board you got out. You try it and see if you can spell 270. And I'm going to help you a little bit because the word hundred might be a hard word for us. So I'm going to go ahead and write that part of it. And then you should have 270. It's missing a couple words. See if you can spell the rest of it. I'll give you just a second. All right, if you need more time, remember you can pause me. Let's go over this. 270. Okay, so 2. That is one of those number words we've been working on since kindergarten, so good. 270. Oh, we spelled 7 just a minute ago, didn't we? 
seven. I need to say 207T. What do you think I got to add a seven to make seven T? Yeah, just T, Y, T, E, 270. Awesome. That's written form. Now we have all three ways. We have standard form where we just write it in numbers. We have a quick picture where we use the blocks and we draw it. And then written or word form is when we write it with words. This is not that bad, is it? No, you guys are going to get this. All right, the last way I'm going to practice with today is I'm going to write it in written form. <laughs> I've not done that way yet. So I'm going to write the number in written form or words, and then you're going to have to figure out the standard form and the quick picture, okay? So here is the number. Um, let's do this number right here. Ooh, that was a long one, wasn't it? All right, the first thing you have to do is read this number. Good. 321. And I didn't put my hyphen between my tens and ones. There we go. 321. So, okay. First thing I have to do is either do it in standard form or a quick pick. And this way is kind of the hardest because we have to know what the number 321 looks like. But I'm going to help you a little bit. The number 321, it does kind of tell you 300. So I know that I have 3 in the 100 spot. It tells me that 300. And then 21. What does 21 look like? Yeah, 21 has a 2 and a 1. So I think this is 321. I'm going to try building it with blocks, and then I can just check and make sure it's right. So 300, it tells me again I need 300. So let's draw 300s. And that's what it says here, too, 300s. And then 21, over here it tells me 21 has two 10s. Let's see, 10, 20. Oh, yeah, 21. Oh yeah, I think that we did it right because it has three hundreds, it has two tens, and it has one one. And that does say 100, 200, 300, 10, 20, 321. Awesome, we did it. We've got standard form. Standard form is where you write it with numbers. We've got a quick picture or a model where we draw it with box. And then written or word form where we draw it with or we write it with words and letters. Is this that bad today? No, I don't think it's too bad. All right, I have given you a practice page for you to practice this. And I'll check it over and I'll see what we're going to do tomorrow. So we might need to practice this some more tomorrow. We'll just see. If we're ready to move on, we'll go on to something else. But I want to see how you do with the standard form, the quick picture, and the written or the word form and see how you're doing on it, okay? All right, good luck. Remember, if you need any help at all, you can always go into the chat in Teams. If you're in Teams, go over to the side on the, on the left. It'll say chat. Find my name if you click on chat. Find Jessica Strunk. That is my whole name. I go by Miss Jessie, but my name is Jessica Strunk. Click on it and send me a message. Say, help me, Miss Jessie. And I will message right back, and we'll work out a way. I'll video you or something, and I'll help you on this. I don't care one bit, too. That's my job, guys. I'm here to help you. So if you need help, go into the chat, find me, and tell me you need some help. And I don't care one bit to work on this with you, okay? All right. Good luck.